form, so I'm going to call the meeting to order. Um, we want to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Oops. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic, the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, liberty, and justice for all. <laughs> Um, well, as we spoke the last time, because we weren't connected with SCTV and streaming, uh, it wasn't considered an official public meeting. Uh, we did not have any motions that were made or uh, approved as a result of that. So two things are left for us. One, uh, we would have to approve the minutes of July 20th. 2020 <clears throat> with the correction that was made that Linda Johnson joined us by phone. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes with that motion, amendment? Motion to approve the July 20th minute, minutes with the amendment as made. A second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. <clears throat> because the meeting on August 17th wasn't officially a meeting. Uh, there aren't official minutes. They have, however, been posted. So the public can look at them and see what is there. I don't know if we would have to clarify they're basically notes instead of official minutes. But the important thing with those were um, the list of all the uh, procedures that are in place and the requirements that will take place for reopening. So they are out there. Um, does anyone have any additions, deletions, or comments to those notes? I'd like to make a correction to the yep. notes on page four in the paragraph regarding the remote notary service. Um, the last sentence references me. It says through Ms. Abuel, the Junior Women's Club has volunteered. And I'd just like to have my name corrected. It's misspelled. It's A-B-B-U-H-L, not A-B-B-H-U-L. Okay. okay, thanks. Is there any other corrections from anyone? Uh, then do I have a motion to approve the notes of the meeting on August 17th, 2020, as amended. Do I, Linda's move, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Karen, uh, if you could just make that correction online, that would be great. Got it. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, we don't have a public audience. Um, are there any communications? I don't have any. I don't either. Um, the Friends Report. Greg, do you have anything to report? No, there's really really nothing new from last time. <clears throat> um, what plans do they have for membership? Well, we're or about to put out the doorway again, and this is a new season for us, so we're going to actively pursue that. You know, we're trying... We're trying to get the doorway out by the end of the end of this month. Okay, great. Does anyone else have any questions of Greg? All right, moving on to the chair's report. I'm just I don't have an awful lot to mention. Um, I'm just very happy we're going to be able to reopen, even though it's a soft open, and hopefully that will quickly morph into a more regular venue for everybody, staff and, you know, patrons, etc. Uh, is there any time frame that Maria has mentioned, Lisa? Or when we'll expand the hours? No. Or is that just kind of see what happens? I think we're going to wait and see what happens. Okay. <clears throat> I don't have any other um, questions. Or comments? Does anyone else? 
have any questions of me? Um, then I'll leave it, turn it over to Lisa for the director's report. Okay. <clears throat> so underneath personnel, interviews for the part-time children's reference librarian position were conducted this, um, that's actually last week. This position has been vacant for many months and um, I can tell you that we, I believe have selected a candidate. Um, so an offer letter should be going out eventually. The Board of Selectmen approved the reclassification of the teen services librarian position. The job is posted and applications close October 6th. The library will reopen, as you know, on Tuesday, October 6th with limited hours and the strict guidelines presented at the last meeting. Beginning September 15th, curbside service expanded to 8 p.m. on Tuesdays. Head of borrowing Rachel Gravel developed a procedure for integrating holds into the curbside service and all staff have pitched in as holds were reinstated by the Library Connection Consortium and right now we're inundated with deliveries. Head of Children's Services, Stephanie Prado, recorded a video to be shared with Sims Grace Elementary School children and families promoting curbside service and also the opening of the library. Children's Librarian Hillary Kennard leveled junior books in the Children's Department by grade to aid in access and selection through the curbside service form. Uh, the borrowing department continues to create virtual displays to promote material for curbside service. The borrowing and Children's Department continue to create engagement and virtual programming content. Adult Services Librarian Lindsay Neffinger is serving as the library's liaison to the Town Spirit Council, which is charged with increasing equity, diversity, and inclusion in the community. The library's collaborated on a virtual program series with Spirit Council, Simsbury Let's Talk, which will highlight a different topic each month through June of 2021. The Business Resource Center has been rebranded as the Business and Career Center, and Andrew Sherm Sherman's title has also been changed to Business and Career Center Coordinator. Sherm continues to disseminate information for those impacted by unemployment and for small businesses. And appointments are now being taken for in-person notary service to certify copies of documents because it's a specific notarization that cannot be done remotely. And um, over the weekend, the library started to offer Canopy, which is a video streaming service, um, and that will be this year paid for exclusively by the Friends. The carpet project is still wrapping up. Actually, as of tomorrow morning, it should be done, hopefully. Um, they needed to order additional carpet, which was the holdup. So um, it should be done by reopening. Uh, let's see, the SCTV board voted to use a portion of their Pig Pisha grant on the upgrade to the AV equipment in the friends room. As you know, the library was not funded um, completely for the Pig Pisha grant that we requested. So these additional funds will help the program room AV equipment more mirror the equipment in the tariff room, which will be easier for staff and for the public that uses it. And that's my report. Thank you. Are there any questions? I have a question. Yeah, I'm wondering with the, uh, with the outreach to the students in the district, the students um, each were provided a Chromebook. And I was wondering um, if it's possible that on these Chromebooks as just an added resource for them, they had some sort of desktop option to access the library's potential eBooks and forms for curbside, um, just to kind of have it there I, I don't know if they do for sure, but we can certainly look into it. I think that would be a valuable thing. Yeah, I know at the moment they, they don't. Um, I have three children in, in grade school, and I was just thinking that that could be a good option for students, especially the middle school and high school students who may be more likely to use ebooks. I'm agreed. I can look into that. Okay, thank you. Anything else? I had a question. Yes, Kathleen. Yes, a question on curbside pickup. I um, was wondering if curbside, when the library reopens, if curbside ends or will that continue for some period of time? As per the email that was distributed on Friday, curbside will still be available for those uncomfortable coming into the building. So it will be more limited because what we will we'll do away with the curbside request form and people will place holds and call to pick up their holds. Okay, okay, that's how it will work. Um, and then could you, um, could you explain what Canopy is? I'm not familiar with it. Sure, it's a, a video streaming database. So you can video stream, you can stream movies, you can stream documentaries. And if you're familiar with the great courses that have DVD content, you can also get those. Ooh. Okay, sounds nice. Cool. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, you, friends. Thank you, friends.
Any other questions? I, yeah, may I ask a question about the um, the Simsbury Spirits Council? Lisa, who was actually developing the agendas for the different programs, the Let's Talk programs? Is that what the council is doing? Yes, in conjunction with Lindsay, and they do have it scheduled out through June of next year. Okay, I was just if there's if there's any interest, I could explore grants with the Humanities Council because that's the sort of thing that they're trying to support. If they okay. want to bring in a special speaker that may cost, then I'm happy to look into that. Just pass my info along and I'll respond accordingly. I'll pass it along to Lindsay so they have it. Thank you. Okay. Lawrence, our green angel. <laughs> I like that title. That's a promotion. Thank you. <laughs> Does anyone else have any questions of Lisa? Okay, if there aren't, um, do we want to go on to budget, Lisa? Sure. Um, we haven't had any, any um, expensive expenses last month. Um, mm -hmm. Does anyone have any questions? One of the things we are keeping track of is the expenses we're incurring due to COVID, such as the um, expense for hand sanitizer and gloves and face shields and face masks. And the town is working to get reimbursement for that. So I, I just have a general question, uh, mm -hmm. Lisa. And that's, I mean, the report is uh, the July expenditures. So yeah, I, I sent the wrong one, sorry. Oh, okay. So there was nothing for August or September, but just in, in general, um, where are we at? I mean, obviously this is a totally different year, but where are we at as compared um, to other years uh, in your opinion? Or would well, you we're running about on target because as you know, most of the staff has been working. Okay. Because staff was recalled in June or early July. So when the, when the fiscal year rolled over, we had all of the staff working. The only thing that may be slightly behind is that we don't have a teen services librarian right now. So we're saving that money right now. Okay. Which, as you know, at the end of the year, if we have money left over in the budget, we try to take care of some facility issues and other issues through the budget rather than putting them up as capital projects. Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Otherwise, we're on target with everything else. Good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, just another uh, question as regards staff. Um, it, it, there's been so much change in staff, and since we haven't been able to meet staff in person, I would find it helpful to have, you know, a list of staff and their positions so that, you know, when I get back in the library, I know who's who and um, can thank appropriate people and, um, and know who I'm talking to. Um, I can get you that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That probably would be helpful for all of us. Yes, yes I'll send it to all of you. <clears throat> thank you very much. Anything else? Linda, do you have any questions? No, I'm just listening. Okay. Thank you. Lisa, could you include a picture of the people too? If they don't mind having their pictures taken. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If there aren't any questions on the budget, I'd like to go to the next item of business, which is the director's re performance review. Um, I sent you all a draft uh, of what I had written, and uh, I think I did get, you know, very complimentary remarks back supporting the document. Do I have a motion to approve Lisa Kareem's performance for fiscal year 20 as written? So moved. All in is there any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. It passes. Mark, are you saying yes or trying to get my attention? Okay. Okay. You're on mute. That's I was fine. raising my thumb or finger. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Raise my hand. <laughs> um, next item is Lisa's 2021 goals, which really are also the goals for the whole library. Um, some certainly are specific as far as uh, some development uh, courses that she's taking, but certainly the goals there um, reflect not only her, but the boards, especially towards the end of the year as we start looking ahead to the next five-year plan. Um, you also got a copy of those, and as I, uh, I have gotten input from Maria that basically the goals reflect what she has for the library and Lisa also. Uh, with that being said, do I have a motion to approve the goals as written? 
So moved. Thank you. A second. 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 Okay. One that seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Passes unanimously. Um, <clears throat> The next item is the Kinetic, the Association of Connecticut Library Boards Conference. Lisa, can you speak to that or what they're doing this year? Yes. Um, for those of you who are new to the board, the Association of Connecticut Library Boards presents an annual conference every year. I believe it's in early November. Uh, this year is the first Friday. Julie, however, so as soon as I have registration information, I'll pass that along to all of you in case you'd like to attend. Simsbury is a member of the Connecticut Library Board Association, so you would pay the membership rate. Um, and that's, there are a lot of very compelling um, information, especially for new board members. Uh, one of the biggest ones, <clears throat> which I think can get confusing as time, are the roles of uh, the board of trustees, the role of the friends, and the role of the library director. So I think it's always good if you have the opportunity uh, and can listen. They also have usually a very good speaker and other topics that you might be interested in. But I think that one, as far as the role is always on. So I would encourage all of you to, if you have the ability to do it, to take advantage. What are, what are the dates for that? I don't have the dates yet. Oh, okay. Pass Thanks. them along as soon as I have them. It's usually early November, yeah. the first or second week. Yeah. It's usually a Friday. Okay. Is it during the day business day? Like, Yes. It is during the day, but I'm wondering if maybe since it's, it will be virtual, they'll record the sessions so people who are enrolled or registered could see them later. I don't know if they will or not. That might be something to suggest to them if they haven't thought of it. Yeah. Okay, that's all that we have on the agenda. Are there any other issues uh, that anyone wants to talk about or put on a future agenda? I'm just wondering if it would be possible to uh, take a library walkthrough be before it opens. I don't see why not. I can try to coordinate a time and a date for that. Uh, Public Works needs to walk through first with the deputy town manager to make sure everything is in place and mm -hmm. um, we have all the health and safety precautions in place. But after that, I don't see why not. I can work on scheduling a date and time if you'd like. I'd like to take a walk through, see what it looks like. <laughs> sure. Well, we'll be open, you know, uh, the six. So if we don't before, uh, most of those decisions are made by the town as far in the safety that things. So I'm anxious to see the new configuration and the carpeting and all that, but it'll be, it'll be there when it opens too. Mm -hmm. But I'll still arrange for a tour if people want to come before we're open. That's fine. If that's all right with you, Marianne. Yep, that's fine with me. Anyone have any other requests or comments? Otherwise, <clears throat> we'll see you in October. Um, <clears throat> as we mentioned before, I don't think, I think it'll still be a Zoom meeting until uh, Maria feels yeah. it's a good decision to have all the public boards and commissions be back to face to face. And and I apologize I think, for my mess up earlier on. Nope. That's okay. Yeah. You you can bring the donuts next time. <laughs> okay. At the, well, at the next live meeting, I'd be happy to. <laughs> but maybe bagels instead of donuts. Okay. <laughs> um, with all that being said, would I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Um, second. Second. Okay. Um, all in favor. Bye. Bye. Well, thank you, everybody, for sharing your time. Thank uh, you. We'll talk next month. All right. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank Night.